How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the top skins that were submitted this last week for Rust. And if you're new, just to explain, you'll see a lot of skins here, but only like 8 to 10 get in every week. That means not all these skins will make it in. Some may never make it in, and maybe none of these will. So it's just up to the lead game's uh, dev, Helk. He picks out the skins every week, 8 to 10, every Thursday, so there it is. So, let's jump into our top 10 for this week. First up, we've got the Dino Illusion set by, once again, Vault Illusion. So, this one was just too awesome not to show off. The sculpting, the cutting, just everything of this was done really good. It looks like a old dinosaur head that's been skinned and turned into a poncho. Teeth and all, very crazy. And it has a nice little bandana to go along with it. But honestly, the poncho is really the win here. I mean, definitely very, very creative and very well sculpted. Next up, we've got the one everyone is screaming for. As soon as this was submitted to the workshop, everyone was like, why isn't this in your video? Well, yeah, there's a one week pre-approval period and etc. blah, blah, blah. But here it is, the flashbacks, version two. Hopefully it has a chance this time. It's just a very high quality camo set. I mean, that really is what it is. It has a military theme, of course, but what people really want this for is a affordable camo set. So there it is. I could see this one selling really, really, really well if it did make it in this week. Next, we move on to deployable. Starting off, we've got a Lava Tomb Box by Little Ranger. And it's just one of those things that just really pops, but what's nice is this Rust character on the top. Kind of reminds me of the whole Star Wars uh, you know, bit, you know, but uh, stuck in the carbonite. Uh, it's just, it, it, it's nice. It, it, it's got lots of little things, but it ties into rust. It also just is very beautifully sculpted. And it has skulls and fire and lava, and that's just what sells. It just does. So it's just a kind of no-brainer for this week. There's even some text and stuff. He was brave and courageous. Uh, the last tell the last breath he was brave and courageous and tell the last breath there you go moving on we've got this cool little furnace and a toot toot from cargo ship <laughs> furnace water sculpture by y9j and this one just is beautiful you've got this little pond in there he's even colored the coals to be green and blue like the rest of everything going on there you've got the little lily pads coming out and there's just so much there. I am over there in that corner. Just all these uh, beautiful little design choices to this furnace. And if we go ahead and turn it on, you'll see it has a nice little glow and all the runes light up a nice light blue color as well. And this is gonna do for the glow for our top 10. So we're just gonna go ahead and show it off. You can see it has a nice little blue kind of tint which I think is really nice. And then we can check out that lava box. All right, moving on, we've got ourselves the curtains rug by McCurdy. We saw the blinds rug come in from them the previous week, and this is just a nice continuation with that idea. And another really creative kind of design. It also has that kind of like little old undies kind of thing going on, the polka dots and the patches, and it just kind of fits the silliness of Rust really, really well. Next over here, we've got a very creative door for you. The Gothic Architecture Sheet Door by Venn. And this one is just really, really beautiful. It actually matches pretty well with the brick as well. So if you want to put this on like a brick skin instead of the standard kind of stone and so forth, it just really looks well with that. But I kind of liked the gray on gray with the stone. So I kind of showed it with regular stone instead of sheet metal here. But one way or another, it's definitely a very nice and it's, it's very hard to kind of get a good depth going on with a flat surface and I think they did a really good job without making any of the details look too flat but still pop out really well and I think that's what makes the difference with this one. Next over here we do have a garage door for you and it is the Apocalyptic Vendor Garage Door by Duck and it has glow and transparency which is very important so 
that is always worth checking out. You've got a fac off use vending machine here, so I guess you can put a vending machine off to the side. But the main thing is it has this huge see-through area. Don't know if that's a little too big, but I mean this whole thing is just sculpted beautifully. It has rust and wear and tear. It just fits the game really, really well. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look at the glow, and it's not really what you would expect. You think it would be some kind of light or something, but it's just this kind of faint light that pops off the bottom of it right there. All right, moving on to our weapons, we've got the Disco Sar. This one's brought to us by MDE, who's also brought us things like Whiteout and Blackout Collection, and uh, yeah, this thing is just really creative, and it fits with the retro DLC that came out for the game and it's just one of those things that just pops it's different it's fun even on the sides you do have a very shiny red versus that very very shiny purple and when you reload you pop a cassette tape right in there very very fun then next up we've got the mk ultra mp5 and uh, yeah maybe some people weren't uh too fond of the name there but that didn't seem to stop anyone from wanting to buy this set the previously accepted piece is doing incredibly well so i would be very shocked not to see it pop right in but this is a good example of having art on something but it's not exactly flat they've done an effort to make it kind of pop and so forth and you can do that without having to actually sculpt things sometimes. And I think this is a really good example of just really making art pop on something and not feeling flat. Aim down the sides, you do have a little red tip, but uh, there's so much color going on. Don't know if that will really help you with the sight there. Moving on to our last and number 10 here is the Constructed MP5 by Odyssey. And this is just an example of really well sculpting. Every piece of this MP5 has been made to kind of look like a uh, Lego constructor set kind of thing. And uh, they just did such a good job. Uh, you can tell it really looks a lot like individual pieces, even though it's not, you know, it is just one mesh kind of thing. And uh, they just did a beautiful job with the details here. Aim down the sides, you do have yellow sight. And let's go ahead and do a reload. All right, well, that does it for the top 10, everyone. Let's jump into the rest of the skins for this week. All right, first up, we've got a continuation in the Lay set by Sky Notice with the Lay Boonie Hat. And yeah, you wouldn't really think it's a Boonie Hat from the way it looks, since it really is just a wrap. But I think using the Boonie Hat gave it a little more depth uh, and a little more space rather than using a beanie, which make, would make it look kind of bent and flat. This really looks more like it pops off from the front of the face there. Moving on, we've got the Dirtly Metal Poncho and Bandana, and the whole thing just kind of looks like an old polished, um, like aluminum, or, or even, I don't know, did they cover this thing in foil? Who knows? I don't know how comfortable something like this would be, but hey, it is definitely a very shiny, kind of rusty, chromey kind of thing that I would just see fitting in the game. Next, we've got some leather gloves, and they are the Gold Chains leather gloves, so they come complete with tiger print leather rings on every finger and gold chains on the wrists so there you go very fancy nice continuation there with that one next up we've got the crazy doctor and uh, yeah it's just a bloody hoodie set and it uh, looks like it used to be some kind of medical scrubs you've got a cobalt red level mark on their key card or on their at least designation there you've got med staff cobalt Definitely love when things do fit into the game lore. Next up, we've got the Blackguard Combat Boots and Gloves. And as you can see here, it's got the same kind of color scheme going on. You've got that kind of little flag color going on there. Same thing on the boot on this side and that side. And then you've got some green laces and some colored heels to match with the set. Next, we have the Postate version 2 set, and man, this thing has just really been touched up. The quality, the sculpting, and everything has just really, really been done well. And it still keeps true to the colors of the original set, but just everything just looks a lot less flat and just really well done. This is definitely a good example of a glow up for a version 2. Moving on to our high qual sets, we've got the Toxic Warfare set by Kosum, and it's pretty much just like a cyber green and black kind of design with a camo going on. It has lots of meshes 
you can see it kind of has that kind of like breathing material kind of look to it to the everything here and there the back of the face mask and kind of like around the chest piece definitely has a very kind of nice techie look that i think a lot of people would do Last but not least for this set we've got the night night set and it's yeah it's just thanks for that one there the night night set i like it, it it's it's funny and a good use of words I definitely like the look of the back there. Very different from a lot of other chess pieces. But very fancy and very pointy look to the set. All right, let's move on to our deployables. Starting off, we've got the Gothic storage box. Since this is really nice little storage box that has a Gothic theme to it. And they've just done a nice little job to it. Moving on, we've got the Soul Light Darkness small box. And yeah, it just has a very nice gold trim. Goes well with the rest of the set and just has that very kind of Dracula demon kind of thing going on. Moving along to over here, we've got the Fireflies wooden box. And this has always been a very popular set, so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe this had a good running as well. Just a quaint little box with some beautiful ivy and fireflies. Moving on to our large boxes, we've got the Darkness Knight large box, and this also is sculpted pretty well. They've done a nice job on it. You've got skulls and chains and all sorts of riveted metal. Just has a very kind of metal look to it. Moving on, we've got version 2 of the Clan storage box, and uh, yeah, as you can see here, it's just been kind of touched up. I think details and so forth look a little bit better. The actual box itself is a little more high resolution and it still has the lovely art that you would expect. Next over here and last for our large boxes, we've got the facet storage box. We have seen a few different pieces from this set pop in. I think the box is pretty beautifully sculpted and could be a decent contender. Moving to our furnaces, we've got a Tiki furnace for you here. This is version two of the Tiki furnace. And I think the kind of like coconut fiber palm kind of wood has been really updated nicely and just fits beautifully with the rest of the set. Or design, I should say. <laughs> then moving on, we've got some honey for you with the honey version one furnace. And you can see it kind of has a nice little gloss around it. So you can really see that kind of waxy feel to the honeycomb. Then over here, we've got ourselves a submarine furnace by Jessen. It has all sorts of rust, that same kind of design for the sub. And when it's on, you can see all the portholes light up yellow, except for the front one, which has a really cool green glow. Moving on, we've got some broccoli for you with the fresh broccoli furnace. Pretty standard glow on this one here. Moving along, we've got the Magma Guardian Furnace, which lights up quite a bit. We'll definitely be able to see and appreciate that more at night. And our last furnace is a continuation in the Moon Guard set, which again is always very, very beautifully sculpted. That's why one of its pieces made it into the top 10 last week. And there you go. Moving on to our rugs, we've got a Moonlight Rug for you, and it just looks like a framed picture of the moon. And man, you can like almost see the topology of the moon on this. They did a really good job on sculpting it. Next, we've got a silly little rug, which is the culinary crossword puzzle. Across a large orange vegetable, starchy edible tuber. You got rust in there, meat from a pig, edible forest fungus. I mean, it's just a fun little rug. Moving along, we've got some doors. And the first door is gonna be the green card wooden door, meant to look, of course, like a card door, but it has a human head shaped hole to look through, which I think is a very fun idea. Moving on over here, we've got a target wooden door for you. You got a pig target and a chicken. And on the front, of course, the main target of rust, the human being. All right, next up, we've got the birch bark door by Wagon. And it's just a nice continuation in his birch set. As you can see, it just looks like it's all put together by the birch trees in game. It's a nice little design and it fits quite well. Moving on, we've got the occult metal door for you. The, oh, sorry, stop metal door. Occult metal door makes way more sense. Moving on, we've got the junker knot for you. Moving on, we've got a double door for you in the No Mercy set. Definitely been a very popular set, so I could easily see this one popping in and a lot of people Loved double doors because there aren't that many skins for them. Moving along, we've got another set 
type for you with the tempered double door. This one has a glow, and I could see even more people wanting this for the fact of the glow on that one. Moving on to our garage doors, we've got the Mimic Garage door for you. Definitely a very crazy looking one for sure. Then we've got the Watcher of Doom door. We did see one from this set make it in, so hey, maybe the garage door will follow. Then we've got another really cool sculpted door over here with the Metal Sentinel Garage Door by Shedmon. Then we got some silly crazy art with the Stomp Rat Garage Door. Then we've got our like fifth iteration of the Radiation Garage Door. And uh, yeah, it does have a little bit of a cutoff at the bottom, which is a kind of cool little design, but it looks like it lost the sights through. So maybe that will be what was needed to be done for its uh, half a better chance. Then over here, we've got some Golden Dragon for you with the Golden Dragon Garage Door. Then we've got the Overlord Garage Door. Devour Garage Door. And then we've got some little art when we move on to here. It should look pretty familiar as it is the Blocky set. And we've got the Blocky Missile Silo. And last but not least over here, we've got the Psycho armored door so let's go ahead and kill our lights take a look at these check out our glow There is a nice little bit of a green glow on the wooden door around the opening. And the answers to the word puzzle pop up at night, which is really cool. There you've got your moon. We've got our furnaces. And our large boxes. There's the fireflies. And there's the last one. All right, on to our tools and weapons. And we've got the volcanic hammer for you here. Nice little continuation in the volcanic set. We do have a piece from it, so hey, maybe this has a chance. And of course, just like the rock, it does glow, as you would expect. Speaking of rocks, we do have a rock for you this week, and it's the news rock. The whole thing looks like crumpled up newspaper, and it's definitely a fun little thing. If you take the time to kind of read on it, there's some interesting little things there. Moving on, we've got a set of metal tools for you before we move on to our weapons, and it's the Dragon Rise set. And when I say set, of course, that means it has to have a matching pick to go along with it. Definitely love the little dragon eye right there. Looks very cool. Starting out for our weapons, we've got the Red Tape DB. And the whole thing just looks like old cobbled together. Even the wood looks kind of charred and messed up. And they just wrap the whole thing with some old red tape. Aiming down the sides here, you've got some big old what look like screw heads. And, and we'll fire one off there you have it then moving on we've got ourselves a python for you this one is the wild safari python and this has a very cool kind of sculpted design with all the different bones popping out of it and then you've got that like zebra print going on with it definitely a very unique design and definitely almost made the top 10 as well aiming down the sides here you do have a nice red tip to the sides Moving on, we've got the Monsters Thompson. We saw the rug last week, and now it's translated on over to a Thompson. Even has a mouth up on the front grip. Aiming down the sides here, you got some little monsters staring back at you. The one screw's been turned into an eye, and there's a slight kind of white tip, depending on how the light hits it there, for the sight. 
All right, and moving on, we've got the Imperial SMG here. It should look pretty familiar, as we've seen quite a few different pieces to the set. Always beautifully sculpted, that's for sure. Even down the sights here, it's just, well, the metal on metal there. Our next custom is going to be a continuation of the Sweet Dreams set. We did recently see a piece get accepted, so who knows? Maybe this will become an official set. You've definitely got some creep to it with the eyes set up right around the trigger there. Definitely love the placement for that. Aiming down the sights, you do have a slightly kind of purpley pink tip against the white back sights. Moving on to the next one, we've got an MP5 for you, and it's a continuation in the Sulphur King set. This one has a little more pop to it and detail from the last ones. Before it was kind of a just flat art, and now there is a little bit of a pop up to the Sulphur there. Aiming down the sights, you do have a yellow tip to go along with the theme. Next on, moving on to our rifles, we've got the Cryptsar for you. As you can see, this one is stockless, and the whole thing just kind of looks like this crazy sculpted metal with bones and teeth and horns and all sorts of stuff going on through it. Aiming down the sights, you do have a very red tip. And there's our reload. Next, we've got the Battle Scarred Sar, and this one has a nice little camo thing going on. I can see a lot of people liking Aiming down the sights here, you have just kind of normal gunmetal for the sights there. Next up, we've got our rifles, and first up here is going to be our Snake Bite AK. Definitely seen a lot of pieces come in from this set, so I wouldn't be too surprised if this one pops in. Aiming down the sights here, you do have a dark red tip to go along for the sight. Moving along, we've got the Soaring Dragon AR. has a very beautiful golden dragon to contrast with the kind of almost marble white of the rest of the body. Aiming down the sides, we do have a nice red tip. Moving on to our LRs, we've got the Supremalism LR. And yeah, this little art set seems to be making a comeback and i'd say it definitely has a nice upgrade it looks really nice in the lr lots of details to it and a lot less kind of just flatness and uh, i think this is just a really nice design on the lr aim down the sides here you do have a red tip as well and there's our reload next we've got continuation the tiger stripe set by shino with the lr i think this also translated beautifully onto it. it has a nice very clean shiny look to it like the rest of the set aim down the sides you do have a red ring and front sight tip next we've got some l96s the first one is the death lily and it just kind of has this nice little painted look but the design does kind of pop it almost looks like it's wood burned in there which i think is a nice little design choice last but not least for our guns we've got the apocalypse nomad l96 and as always this set has been very popular wouldn't be surprised to see this one pop in they just look old and rusted and raggedy and that's just a nice thing a lot of people dig aim down the sides here there's actually a little red tip and an eight so there's a little bit there if you don't have a scope on and lastly, we do have a satchel charge, so we'll just drag it on down. This is the mystery satchel. There's a couple different versions. The other ones do look yellow, kind of like a mystery block from Mario. So I decided to show the blue one, which should have no issues whatsoever. But that does it, everyone. Sound off down in the comment section below which ones you're hoping make it in this week the most. And any kind of suggestions you have, always send them down in the comments, and I'll get them to whoever they need to be if they weren't for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay rusty and have a good one.